hey my friends Jean-Serge Gagnon here so do you sometimes think to yourself how am I going to get started you see all these entrepreneurs online they're building their businesses they're growing their fan base they got a lot of followers and you're like okay I got to get started especially with the you know the stuff that's going on right now coronavirus COVID-19 all this is making so many more people wanting to build a business online wanting to grow their grow something get some income or maybe migrate their business from from traditional to online because let's face it right now these days it's how you have to bit build your business so we're going to talk about that in a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets yeah so I mean that's the thing right you're trying to build a business online so what do you do to get started I mean like this is an easy question to answer but it's also very hard to answer so how can it be easy and hard to answer right at the same time it's totally kind of silly to say that but it's same but it is true it is an easy question an easy the easy answer I don't know if you want the easy answer first or the the, the, the difficult answer first but I'm just going to give you the easy answer I'm going to give you the easy answer right now how to get started online you just start you just start you just start you do something you go online and you start something now the difficult answer is that it's all about doing a lot of stuff online that maybe you've never really done maybe you have a Facebook account maybe you have a LinkedIn account maybe you're on Instagram maybe you're on Twitter maybe you're on TikTok maybe you're on Snapchat maybe you're on all those social media platforms maybe you're looking at blogs you're going to into forums maybe you do all that on YouTube maybe you're everywhere and you're you've got an, even an account on those things and you've produced content and you're just like a regular person using those social media platforms as a user right and if you're a user that's that's the first step you got to be a user of those platforms you got to be understanding how those platforms work how you use the platforms because your audience is out there they're the ones that you have to reach reach right and to reach them you have to know what it is that they do what they like how they use the platform and all that so the first step is to understand what you do using the platform how you use the platform <coughs> what is this how you know how the platform works you have to understand how <laughs> other people are using it but the first step is like I said is just going in there starting going for it doing it going to start to post content now it's like I said it's a little bit more complicated than just doing it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen here I'm going to show you a few things that have to do with what I'm doing and we're going to show you a little bit of what um, to expect on the platform so if, if let's just start with Facebook let me just go here to my well actually let's just go to Facebook right let's just go to Facebook let's share the screen here yeah so you're on Facebook right you have a profile the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your profile is a profile that people when they look at it they're going to be like oh this is a cool person a cool dude a cool lady I want to maybe learn more about them you know you got to have and so what does that mean what does that look like a profile that people want to see right so this is my my profile here you can see I have a cover photo you can see I have a profile picture you got to make sure those are things that are super important you got to make sure you have a profile picture that is of you not a profile picture of your dog or even you and your wife or you and your husband just you because when people look at your profile they you want them to know who you are right that it's you that it's your profile now the cover photo on Facebook is particular in the sense that it's Facebook is very social very very uh, it's non-business oriented so it's got to be a personal thing it's got to be maybe your family that is where you may might have a picture of your dog your your house you know those kinds of things but it has to kind of represent you as a person now if you go through my if you go through my profile my uh, cover photos I've always posted family pictures right that's what I've been posting on 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 my 
timeline on my profile right is pictures of my family so and uh, let's close this uh, this is they changed the, the okay so and and then the thing is that um when you go to your uh profile pictures same thing it should be a profile picture of you right so for me I've done the profile picture for a long time it's been the same profile picture for a while and probably I should be changing it but the thing is that you got to be careful not to change it too often because uh, it's got to be representative of you right who you are and the other thing is we talk about going on multiple different platforms you should have the same profile picture on all of them because you want people to recognize you when they're going from one to the other uh, the other thing is you want to make sure you have decent I mean in my case I got a lot of jobs in there maybe I don't need that many but you got to make sure you have some jobs in there that kind of let people know what you're about what do you do in your in your life not not your business sure you should have something on here that talks about um what you do like for me I put helping attraction marketers right that kind of thing that's in my profile there as to what I do online but there's my jobs in here too my family that kind of stuff my blog my pages my links uh, other social media platforms that kind of stuff now the other thing is you want to have a series of pictures on Facebook that represent you as a as a you know personally right and this is kind of the same thing I've done here most of the pictures here are pictures with the kids and my wife and then of course this is you don't control this this is just pictures that you're tagged in so whatever it is you post regularly right and you should have things in your timeline that you know your uh, audience would be interested in right in my case it's my family right my family life and some other things in here that I post once in a while like for example this morning I posted uh, last Friday's uh, episode which has to do with with this right so I do post these things on my timeline as well just to let people know that you know this is the stuff I do uh, as a business you got to be careful to not have just business stuff on Facebook especially Facebook if you go to other platforms like for example you know if we're talking about other platforms like like uh like LinkedIn for example LinkedIn is a little bit of a different uh beast right because LinkedIn is uh, let me just show you here if I go back to LinkedIn let's just do that I'm kind of doing I'm hoping I'm not stopping the recording one of the things I found is recently my uh my recordings have stopped whenever I was uh okay so LinkedIn let me go back here share the screen again um, yeah so on LinkedIn your profile needs to be a little bit more business driven right for me I've got this cover photo that I share um, amongst all my other social media platforms because everything else that I do on social media is more about a business it's not really a personal thing and you know you can see that I have this if you go to Twitter if you go to other platforms you'll see the same cover photo the same profile picture here um, and in LinkedIn you're professional so you want to have you want to make sure that your jobs are here they they are they are uh, well uh, well shown whoops I clicked the wrong thing and what you do it's more or less like a, a job resume right for in LinkedIn um so that's one of the things but you know the thing is that whatever you whatever you do let me just go back to this this screen here uh, so whatever you do online right whatever you do online is more about um helping people it's not about trying to tell them about what you do about your business like me I post these videos these audios these episodes and if you're listening to this on a podcast it's all about helping you to know what you need to do right I'm trying to help you I mean sure in the long term I hope that this is going to generate some income for me and that kind of stuff but the, the first priority is you have to be helping people so say for example you <laughs> you have a restaurant right and right now with the COVID-19 you can't ha your your dining room is closed because of the you know because of the social distancing thing right so you still need to find customers and until now it's been people driving by or maybe ads on the radio or things like that but now you're trying to go to social media to find people well you what do you what can you do as a restaurant owner to help people right I mean you can start talking about uh the kinds of things that people get from going to your restaurant you know maybe maybe they have some extra time with their family because they're because them getting a meal from your restaurant getting it delivered they don't have to worry about cooking they don't have to they can spend time doing other things right 
you're helping them with their personal lives with their and maybe this is not a good example because trying to build a business online you're really going to be trying to sell digital goods right digital things or you're going to want to promote other people's things and maybe we're getting into a different topic here but to start it's all about getting a presence online that people will be able to connect with you and you're going to be able to connect with them so if we go back to say Facebook let's go back to Facebook here let me share that again uh, over here so you know the thing is that on Facebook let's say I, I go to uh, the home which is basically the news feed right um, and it's loading up here let's just let it finish load up I'm not sure oh there you go so when you go through the news feed one of the things is that one of the things you have to realize is that when you post things on Facebook it doesn't matter how many friends you have Facebook is going to show whatever you post to people that Facebook thinks is interested in what you're posting and they're also going to reward you for being a good social media person right somebody who uses social media who is uh, there who is engaging with other people who is liking things so if I scroll through the newsfeed and I just look at these things I just look at these pictures I see pictures of people and I'm like okay well this is a person here that's a person there that's a post here there's a there's Julia posting something oh that's all great I'm enjoying going through the newsfeed and looking at what people are doing right and I'm just just that's all I do right well whenever I post something and if you were to look at my posts you see that I'm not super super active on Facebook because I posted this right and well that's just four hours ago that probably doesn't count but I posted this uh May 2nd which was last Friday and I had I have 11 comments right and what is it 18 19 20 people uh, reacted to it right and if I scroll down here look at this one here this one here there was only three people well three four five people that uh, engaged or liked it no comments right and this one here is 29 comments which is a lot of comments but that's probably because Facebook loves uh 3d photos and 45 look at that 45 people that reacted right same thing with this 3d picture there's only seven comments but it's food not a sunset but the, the point is the point that I'm trying to make here is that when you look at uh Facebook when you're posting on Facebook you have to be engaging with people you have to be connecting with people you have to be um you know commenting on on what people are doing like for example my friend Mayan here as you can see she's got 16 that's two days ago uh, not two days a day ago she she's got only four engagements right that's because probably she's not super active on Facebook but if I like her post and I comment this this is awesome awesome I just I just put that like this and maybe I go in here and I post a uh, reply to this Joey's comment here actually better after lockdown and I'm just gonna you like this lockdown definitely definitely is having some positive right so I'm just gonna post that and I'm just gonna you know say that so as I'm engaging Facebook is noticing that I'm engaging that I'm doing things that I'm in, in interacting with people because there's a rule called reciprocity that is happening on social media it happens in life too but in social media they're actually using your activity to uh, to reward you for showing your stuff to other people I have like almost five I have four thousand and some friends and when I post something I still just get 10 20 people to see it why is that because I'm not super active and super engaged on Facebook I'm, I'm doing lots of things if I was to spend maybe 15 minutes every single day and be consistent with that it would increase and I'm probably going to maybe do that uh, at some point but right now I'm not too worried about it but I'm telling you about that when you get started you're going to be rewarded just because you're starting because you're doing things but over time it's going to go based on your activity based on your uh, content that you're creating but also based on your interaction and engagement with other people's things right that's kind of how it works and it's the same on LinkedIn it's the same on every other platform it's all about you being consistent and you commenting on people's things and them seeing your stuff because they'll see your stuff if you are you know 
uh uh seeing their stuff they'll see your stuff if you see and engage in in their stuff and it's not a one for one thing I don't that's not what I mean it doesn't mean that if you engage on friend a a stuff friend a is going to see your stuff although that does uh usually happen but it's more about you're gonna like say for example you post a 3d picture and you and the people that are going to see your 3d picture in their timeline are people that have engaged with other people's 3d pictures it's people that engage with 3d pictures so if you're doing a live you want people to see your lives you got to engage with other people's lives if you're doing just posts of pictures of a sunset you can engage with other people's posts of pictures if you're engaging if you want if you want to create a super long post what they call at, 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 at a long text post um you have to be engaged and you want people to see it and engage with it you have to be engaging in long text posts of other people's <laughs> and so and, it, and the way that Facebook works too is that as you engage on things you'll start seeing more of those similar things in your newsfeed anyways I hope this helps this is kind of how you get started how do you get started online like I said you start just start just start doing it just do it just start something right it can be Facebook Twitter Instagram LinkedIn whatever platforms you're on start that platform and if you're interested in learning how to do certain platforms and you're not really sure I, I certainly can provide you training with any of the platforms I have access to lots of free training I can send you uh, you can just send me a message or a comment and you know having let's have a conversation see what it is that you need I'm going to help you with what whatever I can help you with right but get started you just gotta start just go for it just do it start and and then learn as you go and you have to remember one thing one of the things that I've yeah that's I'm going to cover this one of the things that I find that happens a lot is that people let's just go back to the webcam here is that people will very often not start because they're worried that they have to get everything prepared everything has to be perfect before they start and please don't do that don't wait till everything's perfect there's a few reasons for that first of all it's never going to be perfect there's always something to improve something to do better and secondly peep when you start online there's no audience nobody's gonna notice you you might be worried that your 100 friends or so on Facebook are going to see you posting things and that they'll laugh at you and that kind of stuff well you know what it doesn't matter because those friends that you already have they're probably not your target market anyways they're not your audience they're not the ones that are going to buy from you so if they laugh at you they don't they don't have a say in what you're doing so just remember that that's one thing or second thing I guess and when you're starting online you're gonna just be get better and better and better and better so just start start learning the tools start learning the strategies start learning the techniques start learning the the, the the platforms start learning but just start and by starting you're gonna get better and better over time you're gonna grow your audience and eventually you're gonna start to make those sales online all right hopefully that helped and like I said just reach out let's have a conversation if there's anything I can help you with and we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.